Hello, it's Dan DeLuca here coming to you from my home office in Eugene, Oregon. And I have a question for you. Are you afraid of being successful? Well, we're going to find out because I got a couple questions that we'll ask. And um, before we start, I would like you to consider that if you're not having the success that you want, or say you want, then it may be that you are afraid of success. However, let's just take a look. I've got a checklist of questions for you to ask. I'm not going to get into this too deep because this is a short one again. However, um, you may want to consider these in more depth. And if you would be interested in going through these with me, just leave me a comment or send me a direct message and we can do that. Okay. So the first thing about change, by the way, is awareness. So if this helps you become aware of a possible fear of success, that's a good thing, actually, because then you can get to work on it. So have you ever said to yourself, I wonder if I'm afraid of success? That's a good indicator right there that you may be afraid of success or being successful. Here's some, some uh, checklist of questions. So do you procrastinate on your tasks, especially your business building tasks? Do you not finish or complete your um, the things you set out to do around growing your business? Do you talk about doing something but just don't even start it? That's a good indicator that you may be afraid of being successful. Because it's really easy to know what to do. It's like losing weight, right? We all know uh, you got to exercise more and eat less or some combination of that. How many people actually do it and complete it and reach their goal? And people do. However, it's, it's the point is that we know what there is to do. The question is, do we do it? And uh, another uh, indicator is we're just doing too many things all at the same time. We're multitasking and we never go deep. We never focus. We don't have laser focus on one specific uh, activity that we know will build our business. And we, we just stop or we just get distracted and we allow distractions to distract us. We, we don't maintain our focus. So another indicator that we may be afraid of being successful is that we allow distractions in our world. Let's see here. Okay, another uh, indicator, potential indicator, is that you've been on the verge of success. Things have been going well, your team's been building, and then all of a sudden it stops. We might uh, consider or look at what happened what did we do different? Did we sabotage our success? Do you compare yourself to others, especially in the area of your, your success versus their success or your results versus theirs? If you compare yourself with others, that's a, that's a really good indicator that you are sabotaging your progress. The worst thing you can do is to compare yourself to others and so... Stop it. And then the, the last thing is, do you care what other people think about you? Like when you go to make a phone call, a pro call a prospect, or do some prospecting on Facebook, or start a new strategy, or even just talk about the fact that you're in business. Do you care what other people think about you? Do you care about being different or sticking out from the crowd? Because that will sabotage your ability to be successful. All successful people do stick out. They get uh, rocks thrown at them. They get the haters coming at them. If you care about that, I would say you, you want to look at that and give it up and, and, and gain some confidence and, and gain some uh, inner wisdom for yourself about the fact that you are on a path that you've set out to do. So... Uh, those are my, uh, that's my little questionnaire and uh, look for a blog post with this in it and I will let you know through my various media channels. If you're not subscribing to my newsletter, then you definitely want to get on that. It's dandeluka.com slash newsletter 
and subscribe. It comes out almost every day with some something cool like this or um, sometimes it's just a cool website that I find. So let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you at the top.